Hi everyone. In this brief tutorial, I'll show you how to take a Google Colab notebook or a Jupyter notebook and convert it into a Word document. The way that we'll do this is we'll use a package called Pandoc. And I've reviewed a few other packages and methods in order to convert a notebook into a Word document. And I found that Pandoc seemed to do the best job. What we need to do first is we need to install Pandoc into our current session and import it. Now that we have Pandoc imported and installed, we'll take a quick look at the notebook that we're looking to convert into a Word document. And we can see that we have a few different headings. We have cells and we also have hyperlinks. And we'll take a look at how well Pandoc does in capturing all this information and storing it within a Word doc file. What we'll do first is we'll use a bit of bash scripting to convert our current file into HTML. And I am going to drag and drop our file into the content folder. And we can run this. And using NB convert, it looks like we were successfully able to convert it into HTML format. Next, I'll copy the path for this. And using shell scripting again, I am going to convert the HTML file into a Word document. And we'll use, we'll call on pandoc. This dash s, according to the pandoc documentation, creates a standalone document. Dash o allows us to output the HTML file into a doc file or a Word doc file. And make sure whenever you're putting it in, you have your the title of your file, and then you need to put the doc docs in order to export it to Word format. Let's run this. And let's take a look at our Word document and take a look how well Pandoc was able to render the file. And it does a pretty decent job. At the very top, we have the name of our file as the title. We have the markdown headings that are converted to Word document headings. We have all of the markdown text. We have our code cells here. And we even have the hyperlinks for all of our references. We do run into an issue when there is LaTeX within a file. And if we take a look at another notebook, here I have one on linear regression. We can see that there's some LaTeX here. We also have some LaTeX here and around here and throughout the notebook. And we'll take a look at what happens when we try to convert it with Pandoc. Like before, I am going to convert the file into HTML format then I am going to export it into a Word doc format. And we'll drag and drop our file now. We have our file, but we can see that there are issues with the LaTeX formatting. And my understanding is that Word, the, it's mostly Word, and Word has issue in translating LaTeX into its own native formula language. And if I look throughout, we don't, this should be a fraction, but it wasn't rendered that way. And none of the LaTeX was really rendered for this notebook, unfortunately. And I tried finding a package that could convert LaTeX, a notebook with LaTeX easily, but unfortunately I couldn't really find any. I did find this website, Vertopal, that seems to do a decent job. You that might be the best option instead of doing it through Python is to use a external site like this. And we can take a look at what it would look like if I did that here. And we can see that the website did a bit of a better job than Pandoc. We, it looks like it might've converted this into an image. Still some of the, LaTeX hasn't been captured well here. We have some of the matrices, but then it's also missing some of it. And if you do have a Jupyter notebook with LaTeX, it might just be easier to convert it to a LaTeX file. 
Thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful. If you want to learn more about Pandoc, there are a bunch of different file types that Pandoc can work with. You can check it out on their website linked here. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like the video, subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and GitHub. Thanks for watching everyone and happy coding.